all of a person, this is Anton, and in this video, we're going to discuss a major discovery involving one of the most elusive propositions by Albert Einstein, and specifically one of the propositions from his general theory of relativity that for a very long time was extremely difficult to prove. But this time scientists were able to observe something extremely specific coming from a distant black hole that definitively proves it correct. And so here this distant black hole was seen twisting the fabric of space-time around itself as it spins. And it only became visible because of an unfortunate star that approached a little bit too close and became destroyed. So basically this was an example of a TDE or a tidal disruption event. And so in this video let's briefly talk about this concept of frame dragging, talk about what Einstein proposed approximately 100 years ago, and of course discuss this detection and this event. But I guess let's start with the theory. So what is frame dragging and how can you actually visualize it? And so here let's try to understand this concept that's technically known as lens theory precession. And well, you can see the visualization of this in one of the videos by David Butler on YouTube. But to put it simply, according to Einstein, gravity is not just a force, it's essentially a curvature of space-time. And if you have a really massive object, especially a spinning object, so for example a really massive black hole, it does not just sit there, it actually starts dragging the surrounding space along with it, just like you see in the simulation. And one of the ways of imagining this in real life is by basically taking a spoon and using honey. If you spin that spoon, the honey right next to the spoon starts to swirl with it. But as you move further away, the effect gets weaker and is a lot more difficult to observe. But the central swirl of honey is exactly what's happening to space extremely close to a massive rotating mass. In physics, this is often referred to as the gravitometric field. And so just as a rotating charged object creates a magnetic field, a rotating massive object creates a gravitomagnetic field that influences everything nearby. And well, the thing is, this has been proven many years ago by using the experiment you see in this video. But the thing is, the effect was incredibly, incredibly subtle. It was actually so weak that it would take a pendulum approximately 16,000 years to shift by just one single degree. In other words, it could only be observed using extremely accurate measurements, which was done by this Gravity Pro B in the early 2000s. Here's roughly what the scientists discovered after several years of experiments. And this of course was the first proof that this lens theory effect or the frame dragging effect was real. So here even planet Earth was actually dragging the space-time around itself just a little bit. But to really see this in action and to physically measure this, we obviously need something much more extreme such as a supermassive black hole. And this is where we have this new discovery from 2020 of a very specific TDE, tidal disruption event. This was an event referred to as AT2020 AFHD located in a galaxy approximately 400 million light years away from us. And it's an event involving a central supermassive black hole that basically shredded apart a star. Now this is something we've seen many times before, but here the actual emissions were just a little bit different. So usually when a TDA occurs, a star moves a little bit too close to a black hole and the immense gravitational pull creates such powerful tidal forces that it then shreds the star apart. And as a lot of the material falls into the black hole, it forms an extremely powerful and very hot accretion disk with the rest of the material accelerated and shot out from very powerful jets at nearly the speed of light. You can learn about some of the recent discoveries about these events in some of the videos in the description. But what made this event so different was the unusual rhythmic heartbeat in the data. Basically here the emissions from the black hole created a kind of a sinusoidal pattern. With all this eventually reported and described in a study you can find in the description. And well then by using additional telescopes such as the Swift Observatory and the Very Large Array, researchers observed X-rays and radio signals and discovered something unusual and something that was actually never seen before. They observed a very bizarre 20 day long wobble. And first researchers found that the X-ray signals coming from the disk and the radio signals coming from the jets seemed to be wobbling in unison. Basically as one of them changed, the other one changed afterwards. And this wobble or precession seemed to repeat every 19.6 days. Basically suggesting that the disk and the jet were moving back and forth with exactly the same period. Which makes this the most compelling evidence so far for the disk-jet co-precession. And this was very likely the result of the star's original orbit. It was probably tilted compared to the black hole's actual spin, 
And so when it started to approach the black hole, the accretion disk and the resulting jet were basically shifted just a little bit. But importantly here, the black hole's frame dragging effect seems to influence the entire system. Both the disk and the jet start to wobble just like a spinning top. And though we've seen other disks or even other jets wobble around various black holes, this right now is the first time ever we've seen both of them coupled in a very specific synchronized dance. And it's this synchronization that directly confirms that the spinning black hole seems to be dragging all of the local space-time around itself, forcing the disk and the jet to precess as a single unit. And this of course serves as a direct confirmation for Einsteinian theories. Even though this was first theorized in 1913 and mathematically defined back in 1918, observing this in a black hole environment allows physicists to directly test general relativity in some of the most extreme conditions in the universe, and with much more precise results than this. Likewise, when it comes to this particular black hole, it allows scientists to measure its spin. And so here this effect gives us a completely new way to measure how fast this black hole is spinning. And in this case, the team has determined that this black hole does not seem to spin very fast. Compared to a lot of other supermassive black holes observed, it seems to have a relatively low spin value, specifically about 0.11 to maybe 0.35 maximum. But this also helps us understand the jet physics, something that scientists still don't truly understand completely, especially when it comes to these jets launching a lot of matter at extremely high velocities, and exactly how all of this happens, and why it works the way it works. Now today is believed to be the result of a lot of electromagnetic forces, and very likely magnetic lines snapping in the process, but the actual true mechanism is still a little bit mysterious. And so seeing how this jet wobbles along the disk and collecting more data about this event may help scientists understand the mechanics of these engines and explain exactly what seems to happen around these giants. And since we see so many of these jets in the entire universe, trying to understand this phenomenon is of course kind of important. And so here we have this really exciting example of a destroyed star proving Einsteinian principles and confirming a century old prediction. So it turns out the universe is indeed just as sticky as honey when it comes to these massive objects. And as scientists continue to monitor these events and discover even more of these TDEs, we're likely going to find even more data from these objects, eventually helping us understand the universe even better. But before we finish this video, I also wanted to mention some of the previous observations from several previous studies, where this effect was observed in slightly different conditions and once again proved Einstein correct. Because in this case, it's not just seen around supermassive black holes, but it's even been observed around other objects right here in the Milky Way galaxy. And one of the first examples is the very famous microquasar, referred to as V404 Cygni. Here this is what's known as a black hole X-ray binary basically a binary system containing a black hole and a star. And since the black hole in this case is absorbing a lot of mass from its partner, and is also forming a powerful accretion disk along with the jets, over time researchers have also observed certain changes inside the jet, suggesting some kind of a reorientation or precession due to the black hole's frame dragging effects. And specifically, scientists observed what's known as quasi-periodic oscillations in the X-ray signals. Basically, the X-ray signals seem to produce very specific types of changes as a result of the disk wobbling back and forth, with one of the most famous examples observed back in 2015, when this precession rapidly redirected jets of plasma, creating very fast changing orientations, and even high energy rings seen through the light echoes that you see in this image. All of this was reported in several different studies, and you can kind of see the recreation of this in this particular video observed with radio light. And so this was one of the first examples involving a black hole creating definitive signs of frame dragging because of the precession of the jets visible from planet Earth. And interestingly, around the same time, a very similar effect was observed from an entirely different system. Here this was a pulsar and a white dwarf. In this case this is a pulsar whose name you see right here, that has a very tight orbit with its partner, a white dwarf, that seems to be also spinning extremely fast. And so in this case, by precisely measuring pulsations coming from the pulsar, and doing so for approximately two decades, scientists detected a long-term drift in the orbital parameters of the system, and this change was determined to be specifically caused by the frame dragging induced by this spinning white dwarf. 
This was reported in several studies, including this one you can find in the description. And so here we have another example of a massive spinning object producing extremely similar effects and thus causing the pulsar to slightly shift and change its pulsations. It's practically impossible to explain this if this is not because of frame dragging. With all these individual examples, essentially confirming that the lens steering effect or the frame dragging effect are pretty certainly real and seem to exist around any massive spinning object. As a matter of fact, it was even observed around the famous M87 black hole and specifically inside its jets. But I'm sure we're going to find even more examples in the future and possibly even examples from some of the more extreme objects or objects we never really expected to produce these effects. Which means that we'll come back and discuss this more in some of the future videos and you should maybe subscribe. On that note, thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe support the channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM it directly by joining the channel membership that grants you early access or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.